Pregnancy. Nine months of a woman growing another human being in her womb. Is there anything more magical? It's humbling and beautiful, and people will love you for it. They'll tell you that you're glowing and that you're cute, and they'll be unable to hide their excitement for you. But pregnancy also takes a big toll on your body, as its whole shape must change in order to make room for an entire baby. Although there are a lot of misconceptions about working out during pregnancy, it actually is possible to keep going to the gym and not damage the growth process of your child. Yes, so in the first trimester, I can do pretty much everything, but of course at a lower intensity. But then in the second and third trimester, I stop exercising on my back because it's not recommended to be completely flat. You okay. should exercise either upright or at an incline. And of course, I reduce the intensity, so I don't lift as heavy as I usually do, just to be more gentle and easier on the body. And also, as a general rule, you shouldn't exercise to the point that you're completely out of breath, where you can't have a conversation. Okay. So if you're pregnant in the second or third trimester, you should still be able to have a conversation and you shouldn't be so out of breath that you're not able to speak. Cardio exercises are among the most popular and easy to do workouts. So what are the do's and don'ts when it comes to cardio exercising when pregnant? It's definitely important to do cardio, but not to do it at such a high intensity where you're out of breath and you're exhausted, but just like a power walk or elliptical, swimming, things like that is very recommended. However, you should avoid sports that can be dangerous like riding a bicycle if you fall, horse riding, skiing, even basketball because this can cause abdominal injury, so things like that. Celebrity moms are known to keep working out while pregnant, but not everyone always agrees. A-listers like Miranda Kerr, Eva Longoria, and Khloe Kardashian are just a few of the women who've received backlash for training while expecting. It's about time to put a few of those misconceptions to rest. I faced a lot of criticism because they believe that if you are pregnant, then you should rest and you should be, you know, at home, take it slow. And until the day I gave birth with my first pregnancy, I was here every day in the gym, working out, lifting weights, training. And I say that it's not true, that if you, if you want to have a healthier uh, pregnancy, easier delivery, and to feel your best, and also to minimize weight gain, you need to work out, you need to exercise. I say pregnancy is not a disability. We totally agree. But as much as pregnancy isn't a disability, your body is changing. So there are a few key things to keep in mind. Well, what I do is I listen to my body. So if I'm extremely tired or I'm dizzy or nauseous, I just take the day off. But I try not to be lazy and not to make too many excuses because sometimes I can wake up in the morning and feel, feel a bit lazy, but then I come to the gym, I do a workout, and I end up feeling great and having more energy. And sometimes I say that you have to start a workout and then you just feel more energetic, whereas before you might feel tired and lazy and like you don't want to. But if you don't feel well, that's something different. If you feel sick or you feel like you're not able to exercise, then you have to listen to your body.